Hi, I'm Danny. And I'm Evan. Breaking news because it's the scandal. I mean, I, so many things, Evan, I know have happened in the past 72 hours plus that you haven't been able to stop talking about it. I haven't been able to stop talking about it. So we have to talk about everything that happened on Vanderpump Rules, especially because uh, Tom Sandoval was going to talk to Page Six this week, but that interview randomly um, got canceled. So we're going to have to talk about him instead. <laughs> Okay, and I feel like before we get into everything that we have to process our thoughts and talk about where we were the day and night that it all went down, Evan, you just got some breaking exclusive about the sit down Ariana and Tom had while filming. Yeah, so multiple sources have been telling me about this on-camera confrontation that took place Friday at their shared home in Valley Village. They're both still living there. And they had a discussion, basically breaking down what led to the affair and sources are telling me that ariana feels completely gaslit by some of the justifications that tom had for not confessing the cheating to her sooner and some of some of these excuses or justifications included he was concerned about her mental health he even claimed that uh, he was uh, imagine being saying i'm so worried about your mental health so i'm gonna have an affair behind your back next to your bed for seven months and then have it come out publicly go yeah. on with the other excuses right. i'm in so, cheetah i'm activated <laughs> yeah <laughs> danny is 100 activated we need to get Lindsay hubbard on to talk about this because i feel like she would have stuff to say anyways so he used the 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 mental health of it all as uh, an excuse, but then he also said that he was even more concerned about how it might impact her mental health because her grandma passed away in September. So it's like he brought the grandma into it. And then he also- uh, Also spoke- September, it's March now. Right, I so, know. And so okay. also apparently the house, the fact that they own a house together was brought up and that would make the breakup even more complicated. I don't know. Basically- I like, oh, the breakup would get so messy because we own a house. I was just going to cheat on you forever. Oh, Oh, I know. that's how a mortgage works. What? It's yeah, it's it's pretty ridiculous. And obviously, Ariana has recapped this conversation to all of her castmates who are just really disappointed. And Danny and I are also disappointed oh. that Tom doesn't seem able to, shit. to write or to like make any sort of substantial apology. I mean, in his statement, it was about please keep going to Schwartz and Sandy's. The statement didn't even include a mention of Ariana. It, I'm shocked. I, it, I don't understand. I'm shocked it didn't end with like new song out now. Like right. the way how many Fs he did not give on I on it. There's been a lot of Bravo notes app apologies in our time of watching. This might be up there with this like one of the top worst ones. Terrible. It, it was so terrible. And also the the paparazzi photos from outside the house, the ones of Tom are like burned in my brain where he's just like giving that smug look, smoking a cigarette, really looking like he DGAF about this whole situation. It, like, After playing a show. Me. Right. I know. And then also the, the paparazzi photos with the, oh, he still had the eye makeup on from his concert where he described himself as the most hated person in America. That is the one part he has gotten right about this He has gotten that right, but you know why I hate that he said it on the stage? I feel like he probably thought in that moment, he's like, oh, this is rock and roll. And I'm like, no, I'm waiting for Lala Kent to rock and roll you off the West Coast. But I don't want you on the East Coast. I don't know where you're going, Tom and Rachel Raquel. I don't know, but it is truly insane. And I do... It is at least nice to know that all the ladies of Vanderpump Rules, past and present, are rallying around Ariana. I'm not surprised that they all have her back, but it's just really good to know, especially Sheena, who is Ariana's best friend and kind of was played a fool by her bestie Raquel, I feel like. I feel like Sheena probably also feels that right now. Well, and you were with Raquel and Sheena together in studio on Wednesday, the day this all went down. And Danny, both you and I had very interesting Wednesdays. We had- I mean, you were with Raquel and Sheena. I was at the show with Tom Sandoval and Ariana. You know what makes me feel good, at least, that we both are with someone now we wouldn't want to be with. You were with Tom and Ariana. I was with Raquel and Sheena. Now, table for four, me, you, Ariana, Sheena, please. Like that. Yes. But in that moment, we were all so young. We didn't know better. And um, with the way Sheena was defending Raquel so much, and also in that moment, she probably was like, yeah, this is my friend who's getting shade for Schwartz and Oliver and all this stuff. It's a little silly. It's a little messy. We're we're having a little fun. It's okay. I, Ariana didn't even come up in the conversation because we, I was like, oh, Ariana's fine. She's fine. 
she's she's chilling with her man they're having a good time they're not she's going to the vegas and now looking back at that episode when ariana says to raquel when raquel told katie i shot my shoot i shoot my shot and ariana was like (laughs) i didn't know you had that in you little did she know raquel had so much more in her so much so (laughs) much more too because she even in that interview we were talking about now everyone's like Oliver, like Garcelle's son, what's happening? That's still going to be a storyline this season. Um, But she was like, I was made to believe that he was single and separated. And I would never have hooked up with him if I knew he wasn't single. She got put in such a bad position and that was not her fault at all. And I'm so over everyone blaming the woman because she didn't do anything wrong intentionally. She Mm -hmm. did not know. Cut two. I mean, and then also her her line to Charlie on a previous episode that she thought was like the most absolute mic drop of all time was, I'm not a home wrecker. There's no home to wreck. She was like, literally, according to sources, in the home. In the home that she was wrecking. Yeah. Like what the actual hell? And it's so crazy because Wednesday night I was at the show that Tom Sandoval performed with his little cover band and Ariana was sitting front row with Kristen Doty, by the way, and she couldn't have been more supportive. She was dancing, she was filming, like she, it was like- talk to them about how much of a successful couple they are. Well, so here's the thing. So I interviewed Tom before the show began and I was asking him about his uh, new music, uh, his his new single, Superstars, which uh, James Kennedy has uh, described as trash. I won't share my (laughs) opinion about the song, but- I haven't listened to it. That's all right. Um, and so, <laughs> Dream and good so, as gold. Anyway, yes. I was talking to him about the music and obviously the new season. And he he was talking about like just the, the history of Vanderpump Rules. And he actually mentioned how proud he was of Raquel for stepping into her power this season and making the whole season about her. Also said that you know, Raquel makes some mistakes, but you know, she's, she's a star. And so I was like, little did I know the mistakes she was really making, but when he was talking about sort of like the history of Vanderpump Rules and how in season 10, he was so proud of Raquel for, you know, being the, the center of attention. I thought like, wow, like this show has been on for 10 years and you and Ariana have been like the most stable couple in Vanderpump Rules history. What's the secret behind your success? Like, then he goes into, we've had our ups and downs and we're not perfect, blah, 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 blah. But we try to respect each other in a reasonable way. Define respect is the question now. I'm like, what is reason in a reasonable way? Like, is it reasonable for you to have a secret affair for more than six months with your girlfriend's good friend? It's just like all so... Because that's the thing. Sandoval and Ariana really welcome. now we know how much they welcome, but really welcomed Raquel into the group and were kind of like her main defenders when no one else really cared about her. No, not. But now not everyone's like, Sandoval all. helped James propose to her. I know. It's all like all these little sort of like Easter eggs and red flags and reflections and receipts are all coming out. And it's it's making my mind. Explode. Well, I feel you know what's so crazy, because even on Wednesday, we asked Raquel a silly little question like, oh, who's the last person from Van Pop Rules you texted? We thought the answer was going to be Sheena as like a cute thing. She was like, I have a group chat with the Toms. I have a text thread with Tom and Tom. And I was we're like, oh, that's a weird, weird to be texting both Toms. And like, she's like, it's our pre game group chat. Now I'm like, what else is in that group chat? So, and now one of the conspiracies is, is that Schwartz has been a cover-up for Raquel mm-hmm. and Sandoval this whole time, which like feels, like I said, a little conspiracy-y, but it kind of makes sense. It may, my, I know it makes sense. I do think that they had, did hook up. And I feel my thoughts on it is that she made out with Oliver, then made out a little bit with Schwartz, and then made out with Sandoval as well through all of that. And then just kind of kept, Sandoval was just the one that she kept on going back to. Why? I do not know. Because he's the one out of the three of those tiers, the least, the one who is still in actively, the, or like, you know what I mean? My assumption, and this is just my my observation, I feel like Sandoval and Raquel, who apparently, by the way, her real name is Rachel. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Uh, and the, the whole fandom is now calling her Rachel, which I kind of love. Um, I do love 
But shout out to any Rachel out there. Sorry, yeah, we your name love <laughs> any Rachels who are listening. We we love you and appreciate you. Uh, but they were. I think they like the danger of it. I, I, that's my assumption. I think that they like the, liked the danger of sort of having this little secret wearing their little lightning bolt necklaces. <sighs> like that's what, that was fun for them. Mm. And you know what? I'm sure it was fun while it lasted, but now I don't know what the plan, like what any other game is. Even one of our coworkers was that Schwartz and Sandy on Friday night when all this was happening, Schwartz was having the time of his life. So I'm like, do any of them even care about what's going on? I mean, certainly the girls who are rallying behind Ariana do. And I, I love, love, love that for Ariana. It I also, love that she went to Tovlo. Yes, that is and the cool girl. Day. You are a cool girl, Ariana. She is the she is the coolest girl. I am. I, I know Danny and I are such Ariana stands. We love her so much. We are hashtag team Ariana. All and you know, way. I'm also team music. Kills Kate. I know she doesn't really need a team right uh, now, but I just need to put that out there. Yeah, like, <laughs> yes. 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 <laughs> absolutely is. Uh, yeah, I, I, I am team that too, but I'm definitely and passionately oh. team Ariana. And it just feels like the entire world, the entire Bravo fandom and community is hashtag team Ariana. Also, also Hoda is, uh, Kristen Chenoweth is, Kaylee Cuoco is, horse girls like, stick together. Chrissy Teigen, like all the girls are coming together to support Ariana. And I just, I love that for Ariana. I feel like this is going to exalt Ariana. Like I know, I know she's heartbroken. I know she's devastated, blindsided, all that. And this is terrible for her. And I hate that this happened to her, but I think that she is going to gain so much power from this and she is going to come out of this better all the girls are talking about how she's going to be thriving and living her best life once the dust settles and i truly truly believe that also i just i don't know how you thought of ariana and sandoval danny but to me it always kind of seemed like a mismatch oh because it it i was like why are you putting like louis vuitton on a dumpster like because ariana (laughs) designer gorgeous we love it and then he's put it on spencer's glitter with pants from party city (laughs) thinking he's a rock star when I'm like, you're dressed like how I used to dress at like, like in seventh grade for Halloween, mind you. So I think that Ariana should have been doing better years ago. And I hate that this is how it ended out, but the what the upgrade she will get, it's oh, yeah. gonna be beautiful. And I think cause we even we can see from, Katie uh, is kind of, it's it's hard, like this season I know it's hard for her. She is thriving post her divorce and it was more amicable than this. So all these ladies are going to be thriving. Lala is thriving post Randall. So I'm really looking forward to Vanderpump Rules kind of becoming like a real housewives moment where do we need men on it? No, let's just have our ladies. Honestly, do, yeah, do it with just the girls because the men currently on the show are I don't know. They're kind of giving me the ick. I will say, though, I love how hashtag Team Ariana James Kennedy has been. I've been living for his Instagram commentary. It's been pretty vicious. And I don't know if he's Team Ariana or just not Team Raquel, Rachel, (laughs) but I do love how much he is supporting Ariana. Yes. Yeah. And I do love how much Peter's trying to be like, guys, I'm still here. I loved how immediately Peter was like, no comment, dot, dot, dot for now. Also, Peter was at the show on Wednesday night. He was there. He was bopping around, serving drinks and being hospital hospitable as ever. Okay. I I would love to get his his thoughts. <laughs> I would love to get his thoughts. I also I'm like wh- what is I I'm, I'm really cuz like Lala is really ready to like charge. Dodi go. I feel has some crystals going. There's a lot of there's a lot of things that I will be curious what happens in the next few days. <laughs> to Sandoval and Raquel. And also, cause um, the reunion films in like two weeks or like three weeks or something like that, right? Oh my God, yeah. So as of now, it is set to film on March 23rd. And I just cannot wait to see how that plays out, you know, regarding the Tom and Ariana of it all. Because I hope that with further reflection, Tom is able to think of something to say Okay. That might validate, you know, Ariana's heartbreak. Yeah. Because and I hope. Sorry works. Sorry. I like just owning into like what he did wrong. Cause his entire thing, the reason people liked him is because he was nice to Ariana. <laughs> That's the main reason I was like, you know, he supports her. Now he doesn't do that. I don't know. And our, and Rachel Raquel, if you're listening, watching, you can't, you can't fake COVID for this reunion. Yeah, you yeah, can't, I'm not, you can't zoom into this. 
I just got to show to, up. You might have to quarantine for two weeks before because everybody's expecting you to show up. Danny, how would you describe Raquel's a vibe the day that you were with her? Okay, here's the interesting thing. Well, she was honestly, we were all saying she was really shaky, nervous. And we were all like, that's interesting. Maybe she hasn't done like a ton of press, but like, no, she's been on the show for a while. And every time she would answer something, she was kind of like, well, um, yeah. And so Sheena kind of was like being like her representative for a while, being like, okay, well, I think Raquel's trying to say this. So there are some nerves there. And I do feel, uh, while a lot of people are like, oh, like she's so like naive and sweet. She doesn't know. I'm like, there, like she, while she was shaking, I, the eyes were doing like, there's, there's a lot of stuff going on up there. I, I, I know her, whatever her new PR hired people We've we've all seen the uh the email blast about what they online of what they, they might be trying to do. I think Raquel has some more going on up there than people are giving her credit or discredit for. Yes. I mean, how like it must it must take all the effort to have continue to talk about the Schwartz of it all and the Katie and the this and that. Mm-hmm. Meanwhile, you're hiding this massive secret. So I would be shaking like a chihuahua shaking. too. And also she had no account, like then people were like, she had no real accountability because the whole thing with Schwartz, she's like, well, Sheena told me to do that. And even Sheena was like, why are you saying that? But like kind of joked it off for all of her. She's like, well, Lala said, I like, I don't know. I'm really curious what the, sa- like who who told her to hook up with Sandoval? She's going to be like, Ariana told me. <laughs> like it was Ariana. Yeah, Grande, I put a comment and a fan <laughs> replied saying yes come to brazil (laughs) oh my god wow and then so later on that night raquel and sheena had it out because raquel had to come clean to sheena and they are they're done i mean they are not good as gold whatsoever anymore and i don't i don't blame sheena because like you said sheena was not only her representative the day she was in studio with you she has been her representative this entire you know, year coming off of the James Kennedy split, dealing with the Tom Schwartz drama. Like it just, it's such a betrayal. You know what's that? Cause Sheena has had, and we talked about this when we interviewed Sheena, she has been on the receiving end of like the mean girl group going after her. So I think she was yeah. helping Raquel Rachel out a lot by being like, okay, I know how that feels. I have your, you know, you have, I have your back. Just be honest with me. I got you girl. And now this. And so now this makes me th- wonder what will happen to Raquel for future seasons of Vanderpump Rules? I, I feel like she's not going to have anyone to film with. She has no Bueller. Out. The call she's going to be Bueller, Bueller, Bueller. Like no one's going to, who's going to film with her? It'll be her and the dog. I mean, unless she and Sandoval, like Bonnie and Clyde, this whole situation and they just like have, I mean, they could, do you know what? Do you know what I could kind of see happening? I don't know if either of them have the the same wherewithal as Spencer and Heidi from the Hills. Mm. But if they wanted to, they could go the Spidey route and just be like super villains and sort of be on their own island. Because looking back on the final seasons of the Hills, Spencer and Heidi just kind of like filmed on their own. So they, they could possibly oh. do that. But... I don't know. There's something a little bit more compelling about Spencer and Heidi than I was gonna say. Yeah, Heidi, Heidi, at least a little more interesting. And also, Andy was even saying on the radio show, kind of how shook he was. Like he's been. I feel like he's been along the ride with all of us. Like on Instagram, like what's happening on Twitter, what's going on. And he wouldn't. People were calling in, being kind of being like, "What is Raquel's future on the show?" You even see. He was like, "I don't make the decisions." Uh, because I'm just a fan who hosts it and everything like that. But I think they're also kind of just like, oh, there's a lot of uh, stuff that has to be unpacked here. And he even was kind of looking too at the red flags from when they were on Watch What Happens Live because Andy got duped like all of us. I was like, I was so glad he didn't see any of the signs because they went from uh, the interview at page six to then like having dinner probably together as besties to Watch What Happens Live where they filmed it. And that's where Raquel was like, Sandoval's the hot Tom. Sheena was in the, he was like, kind of like to Sheena, like he DM Sheena, like, were you shocked at that? Like what was happening? So the fact that that was kind of like the little tip of the iceberg before it all came breaking down was really insane. And do you know what was also insane was that the morning of like before the news broke, Andy had tweeted something like Vanderpump is like 
it, it, in its at its peak or in its stride he said something about like Vanderpump is thriving and like the world is a better place because of it and that was before the news came out and then the news comes out and he just like posts like the red alert emoji <laughs> Jenny I want to know where because I feel like whenever a big news story oh. happens we kind of like remember where we were what was happening like I still remember I was in the parking lot of a Ruby Tuesday when I found out that Michael Jackson died where oh were God, you- I was in a I was in a taxi cab when Winnie Houston died see we just yeah. we you always remember. So where were you when you found out about Tom and Ariana? I was at the vending machine pushing it, trying to get Sun Chips Harvest uh, cheddar out. <laughs> and I got sent the TMZ screenshot. And I was like, why is someone Photoshopping TMZ screen? I'm like, that's not, I'm like, that's not what, what I'm like, this is fake. I literally was like, this isn't real. And then when I was then, I, I don't know if you were in the same boat. I didn't believe it until James Kennedy shared the TMZ screenshot to his Instagram. And I was like, oh, it's on. But where were you? Uh, so I was actually at a bachelorette party this weekend in Palm oh Springs, God. and I was relaxing in the pool on Friday when the the story broke, and all of a sudden my phone just starts going off like buzz, 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 and I'm like, what is happening? Like, mom, stop calling me. <laughs> and so I look at my phone, and it's all these like text messages and Instagram messages about this whole situation, and like you said, I, I almost thought it was photoshopped. It just seemed so unbelievable, especially because like two days before I was watching Ariana live her best life front row at the Tom Sandoval concert. So it did not make any sense. Immediately, I call up my sources to get the tea and then just hearing how it all unraveled with the the inappropriate video that Ariana found on Tom's phone. Oh. It's like, I I couldn't believe, like I just, I still kind of can't, I can't disbelieve. And that's all I was thinking of. I was like, I literally was watching Evan's Instagram story. It might've still been up. Like the 24 hours might've not gone through where Ariana was filming her then boyfriend singing off key. She didn't care. She was still supporting him. I know. And now looking back, looking back on that Instagram story that I posted, I think my caption was something like, get you a supportive girlfriend like Ariana. If only I knew. I hope she didn't see it because I'm sure that probably like that could have like sent her spiraling. She was like, yeah, wish I hadn't been. Um, yeah, she's like, but... <laughs> yeah, thank you. Glad to be supportive. Yeah. Yeah. Wow. I kind of almost feel like even though you and I have survived the news cycle this weekend, Danny, that this is kind of just the beginning. Part one of 10. I know. I Our, our, our regular episode this week, we're going to have a fun special guest on, hopefully, that's going to... What about... What if I was like, we're, we're having Schwartz on. No, just kidding. We're going to have a fun <laughs> special guest on who to unpack this with a little bit more. And also, we'll see what happens on Wednesday's episode. Well, Lisa Vanderbilt's going to be on Watch What Happens Live. That's where so what I'll be tuning into, but yes. Yes, I cannot wait to hear Lisa's take on all of it. I know that she is devastated. I, I'm sure, because she probably feels so so close to ariana but then like tom and and the other tom was like not doing so well partners business but yeah business partners so it's a complicated situation for miss lvp too i do not envy uh the position that she is currently in being the the mother to all not envy by melissa gorgang not at all no no (laughs) not whatsoever so yeah stay tuned uh keep listening to the podcast because danny and i will be breaking it down some more we are sure (laughs) we are sure and ariana we love you girl (laughs) we do love you ariana stay strong and keep slaying uh that makeup look she looks so good and then all those paparazzi photos she just looks so freaking good good. i hope she's honestly playing strong about britney spears because we know she's a britney girl she is a britney stan and that makes me an ariana stan so yes we love to see it